Hello everyone, today I'll be reviewing the smaller counterpart of the massage gun that I had previously reviewed very recently, also by the brand Katsuko. This one, as you can see, is very compact and it still has the same four feature uh, attachments, which I'll be demonstrating in just a bit. But first off, starting off with, of course, the unboxing as usual. It's definitely really interesting how it actually came with a little ribbon for some reason for this package, whatever. It's a nice little touch. It does still have some string rack that I need to remove right here. So removing the packaging, you can see there's no case this time unfortunately for this mini set. First thing you're greeted with is this instruction manual which is very graphic and is really nicely labeled. It's one of the better uh, instruction manuals I've seen from massage guns to be honest. It has product use as well as explanation of what each of the attachments are kind of used for. And then wrapped away here is the actual massage gun itself. You can see it's kind of a glossy uh, metallic gray finish. Uh, the attachment goes right here in the middle of the T and then you can see the four attachments right there. The final thing you get in the box is a USB type C charging cable which is good to see. Glad they chose the future of cables. So now just to give you an overview of this product, it's really straightforward. You see the four attachments here that you would insert in the T in the middle. And because it's so small and the way it's um, designed, you can easily hold it in one hand with no problems, which makes it for very easy maneuverability. Um, as I mentioned before, here is where you would insert the four attachments. There's no need to screw it in or anything. You just push it in. Top is kind of where the ventilation is. And on the bottom, you can see the single power button also used to switch between modes as well as the USB Type-C charging port. There's a quick LED underneath it so you can know when it's actually receiving charge. Battery life is pretty good. I use it maybe a few minutes a day. So it's usually a couple of weeks until I really have to charge it. But in terms of mode operation, you can see that there are a total of four different speeds, vibration speeds. To start it up, you just need to press and hold the power button for a few seconds. It will always default to the lowest setting. And then you can press the button uh, quickly once again to move on to the next mode. Um, it will continue to recycle back to the first mode after it reaches the highest mode. To actually shut it off, you just have to long press the power button. And then you can see the LEDs turn off to indicate that it's not moving anymore. And once again, to start it up, you just need to long press it again. And it does, again, start on the very lowest setting. So just running through the four different attachments and what their main purposes can be used for. So starting off with probably the most forgiving attachment, and that is the ball head. It's made out of foam, so it's pretty versatile. You can use it on almost any parts of your body in between joints, large muscle groups, etc. Um, of course, if you do choose to use it um, on clothing, it will get a little bit snagged just because of the material. Because of the ball shape, you're able to rock it back and forth and don't have to worry about it accidentally getting caught uh, on a bone or something which can be a little bit painful if you did the same mistake with one of the plastic attachments. Next attachment I have is the bullet head and you can see because of the pointy tip it doesn't really hurt even at high volumes but you just have to be very careful where you use it as you want to avoid bones but it's very good for very targeted um, positions so for example very particular spots in your muscle group or in between joints. The next attachment is probably the most limited in terms of functionality. It's meant to really go up and down your spine. You can see it has kind of this fork shape. Um, so it just goes on either side of your spine. So it's very easy to target that specific area. Last attachment is the most versatile of all. It is the hammerhead or the flathead attachment. And it's great for all kinds of muscle groups. I think once you get the hang of using this, you will most likely use this as opposed to the ball head. Just because it does have a little bit better effect in my opinion than the ball head because it is a little bit harder. But that's basically it. It's very straightforward to use and it's definitely very effective. I can tell you after a long day of sitting down at work, um, using this to release some stiff shoulders um, and also after a hard workout, it's good to loosen up those tight muscles. It definitely does its job. Just a few minutes of use is all you really need. And I do like the compact uh, size of it just so I can take it with me on the go. It's much more portable than the bigger version. I think the four modes are definitely a little bit weaker than the larger counterpart, but even so it has done perfectly fine for my uses. The smaller size also means it's less noisy. Here's just a quick sound test at all four modes. So yeah, I can wholeheartedly recommend this. I think it's a good value. As usual, the product link is in the description for those of you who are interested. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions. 
Thanks for watching.